Hello, so today is the 22nd of December and it's the day that I'm officially flying out to go and meet Alan after almost two years apart, which sounds pretty insane to say, like if you had asked me if I could manage being away from my partner for two years, I would have said hell to the no, but I'm still here. So yeah, the day has finally come where we're gonna meet up and I am excited and I'm nervous, but more so nervous about the journey of getting there because you guys already know I'm in Australia and it is a trek and um, yeah, I just want to get there. So whew, fingers crossed this all goes good. As you would have seen, we have officially reunited after two years apart. Mm -hmm. As I'm recording this, it's actually been a couple of weeks that we've been together, <laughs> but this is the only chance that I've had to be able to sit down and kind of just talk about the whole journey of reuniting. Um, you guys would have seen all the footage that I kind of threw together as like a B-roll, but um, it was a very stressful for me anyway. It was, you, it was pretty sure. stressful. Like I, I was definitely very prepared coming here like I had everything in order but when I tell you I was running for my life <laughs> to get <laughs> to here yeah. like it was tough so um yeah as you can see we're reunited it's been a couple of weeks now we've just been enjoying each other's company obviously filming a lot for you guys and for ourselves as well and just spending quality time together um yeah. it's been really good hasn't it very good. We definitely yeah. needed it after two definitely years well apart. Needed, yeah. 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 Yeah, like my travel is like six hours away. <laughs> yeah, yours is easy. You're yeah. literally, as they say, across the pond. Really. I like went to the airport early. Uh -huh. Didn't really, um, they didn't check too much stuff. They mm. just said, oh, present. I literally had, we, we prepared so much for the travel. Oh, yeah. We printed everything we yeah. needed to print out in. I got I get there and all they ask me is for my um 
like two things my passport and if i was vaccinated mm. and then they didn't you know they didn't ask me for anything else got through i got a couple hours to kill i was mm. hungry <laughs> i relaxed your journey there, was so chill like you were just chilling <laughs> boarded my plane mm -hmm. watch a couple movies and i was here oh yeah so that was alan's journey of <laughs> traveling overseas during a pandemic mine however was a little bit more hectic hectic stressful complicated by the time i got here i was so tired as you would have seen in that last clip when we like yes. reunited we had obviously p planned to film like more i had planned to film more of like my journey coming here and like updating along the way but i was just so stressed like my layovers they were enough time but everything was so delayed and like yeah it seemed like it was a lot of time and you took off like an hour late already yeah my, all my flights trip. were delayed but yeah i guess i'll just kind of explain to you guys what happened so i had my flight from brisbane domestic and it was heading to sydney domestic which is only like an hour's flight totally fine I get to Sydney domestic and I obviously have to transfer to Sydney International. So I, my flight was already an hour delayed, mm -hmm. um, got there an hour late, which meant that my layover was two hour and 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. So it ended up only being like an hour 45 or an hour and a half. And um, I should also add that like in preparation for going on this trip um, for myself anyway, like you have to have all of your paperwork ready like i had to have my international vaccine certificate to be able to leave australia before you went to go get your covid test yes the covid test the had to be done within a 48 hour window mm -hmm. to when i was going to be landing here in paris um so that was like stressful as well like making sure that i was getting my results in time and that they were mm -hmm. coming back negative as well of course but yeah back to what i was saying I land in Sydney domestic. I had to go run to the train station because I missed the last shuttle bus mm -hmm. because my flight was delayed. Had to go to Sydney International and that's where they did all of their checks for my paperwork to see if I could actually leave the country. They didn't mm -hmm. do it in Brisbane because I was... Domestic. Yeah, it was domestic yep. and I was leave, traveling to another domestic airport. Did you, um, did you have to grab your luggage because it's a domestic flight? You had to go transfer your luggage No, to... thankfully oh, all of my okay, luggage good. I had checked to my final destination. Oh, so perfect. all I had was my carry-on. But man, I was sweating, like I was running so fast to get to Sydney International. Got there, my terminal that I had to check into was at the other end of the airport. <laughs> right. And then when I got there, I probably had about an hour. When I arrived at the check-in desk, they were already boarding. So wow. let me show you guys actually. So yeah, I had this document folder. I'm not gonna show you all of my details inside, but I have like pages upon pages of all of my details my vaccine certificates, like travel insurance, all of that. Had to have that, which actually did come in handy because they did ask me for everything. So I had to do all that at the check-in counter and the attendant told me like, I need you to go straight to the gate. I, I couldn't find my way through the airport. It was quiet, but there was a lot of construction going on. So like navigating through Sydney International, I was like, where the heck is my gate? Finally got there, could relax. I was sweating stressed and my first flight was about 15 hours i think going to abu dhabi right? yeah so i went from sydney international to abu dhabi couldn't sleep because i'm just not the type of person how that long was sleep. it again? 15 ish 15 hours 15 hours yeah. and you didn't really sleep well no i probably slept like half an hour on Would that you flight watched a whole bunch of movies i watched a whole bunch of movies i did i <laughs> I was actually texting yeah, I you, I watched Crazy Rich, and oh, I right. cried. Yeah. I was sitting in my chair, like, like crying, I, sobbing. I could only imagine, like, 15 <laughs> hours, and you're watching that. And yeah. Then, you know, you're already, you know, you have tons of, like, emotion. Like, oh, yeah. Because we haven't seen, we haven't seen each other in two years, so, uh -huh. like, and plus you're watching something like it that. It was all the feels. And you're, like, rushing to get to your gate. Oh, my gosh, yeah. It was, it was a lot, but um, yeah, got to Abu Dhabi. That transition wasn't too bad. I just had to go find my next gate mm -hmm. and then got onto my flight from Abu Dhabi to Paris. And that was like another seven to eight hours. But yeah, just the whole transition of getting from airport to airport. I was like, oh my gosh, 
oh, I was so exhausted by the time I arrived um, in Paris. I was so tired. I probably slept maybe two hours max within a 30 hour period because my total <laughs> travel time was a little under 30 hours. So I probably slept for about two of those hours. Mm. And when I tell you I was tired, the time difference was like crazy as well. But once we finally found each other, I was like, I oh at, my well, gosh. At first when we were, when, when I, I got there like an hour and some change. I went to go to get the car, mm. the, the, the rental, mm -hmm. right? And I was like, you know what? Thank God the rental place is the same as your terminal. Oh, yeah. So I, I found a cafe and like sat there, bought some just like coffee and stuff and mm -hmm. waited for you. Again, just chilling. Yeah, just hanging <laughs> out, waiting for her. Yeah. And when you landed, it was, that was somewhat stressful for you because we didn't know where to go yes and i was trying to ask trying to for find, directions yeah. and they couldn't understand my accent i feel like here <laughs> right. a lot of people probably have a bit of an easier time understanding like an american accent as opposed mm. to an australian one so when i was trying to ask for directions they were like I don't know like I don't know what you're saying but yeah it was a journey and traveling during a pandemic I would say <laughs> yeah I felt pretty safe I mean a lot of the airlines <laughs> don't let you not wear a mask like you mm. have to wear a mask the entire time they give you like sanitizer they give you extra masks they give you wipes everything but yeah it wasn't too bad to be honest and obviously like mm, with yeah. the airline that I was on in order to be able to board the flight you had to be negative so everybody on the airline as far as it I know, safer. yeah, was a negative. So. For sure, you can travel without being, and yeah, you, know, you have to be negative. Yeah, but you know what? What was what was interesting? I'm laughing because as much as that trip was long for you as well, mm -hmm. I remember how stressful it was to get to the place that we're staying at with <laughs> the yeah. car rental. Yeah, when we got the car. You know, everything that's on the uh, GPS was in French, mm -hmm. right? And we couldn't, like, figure out things in the car. I know. And figuring out, like, just to even get out of the airport. Oh, Remember my we goodness. went around? Yeah. And even though we drive on the left side of the road in America and, and over here, it's just following that and then getting out of the airport and driving to where we're staying mm. was a mission as well. It was. And, like, like I said, I was running on two hours of sleep. I was stressed, probably was feeling anxious, having anxiety, like I was just tired. So yeah. I think, yeah, that first afternoon we had said like, oh, okay, when we get there, we're going to go sort out our COVID passes. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to the grocery store. We knocked out. Yeah, like, we, not, we definitely <laughs> knocked out. Yeah, we, I was definitely tired. Honestly, I actually, I know mine was smooth, but mm. I only slept for like three hours because the night before, Every time I travel, I don't really get to sleep. You're like too excited. I was you know, definitely <laughs> excited. Want to make sure I bring all the stuff I wanted to bring. Mm -hmm. And when I get to the airport, I remember my luggage was like three pounds overweight. Mm -hmm. And they were going to charge me $200 just for the three pounds. And I'm like, no, nah, nah, I that's to me that was BS. But like, mm -hmm. you know what? I just grabbed like three pairs of pants and brought it with me and they let my luggage go yeah so you know luckily again i was like you know what if she's gonna run around this airport i'm gonna i'm bound to find her <laughs> and i just didn't want her to like go around but it, it, was, it was like i i literally saw her in the corner of my eye and she looked like you know you look very stressed <laughs> So I was like, I was oh, thank stressed. God I, found I was her. super stressed. And you didn't even see me coming either. I didn't know. It definitely wasn't like any cinematic like <laughs> reunion. It was just right. like finally, thank goodness we found each other. Um but yeah, I I know some people have had like criticism towards like why would you be traveling during a pandemic? Obviously we've been apart for like two years, so right when the opportunity presented itself for us to be able to see each other we grabbed it with both hands and mm. we're like okay let's let's figure this out and do it it was a lot of work in terms of like figuring out exactly what paperwork you need um because there are very specific requirements maybe for you it's a little bit more lenient because it is ask. but i still needed I, but i didn't know what they were going to ask so yeah. i just want to make sure i have everything we needed just to just in case mm. 
And like you said, you know, as soon as we found out your country's open for you to travel, we literally planned everything like a month before. No, even. Been, it was like weeks. It was weeks. Yeah. And then we booked everything, the flights, the accommodation. Yeah, it was definitely very spontaneous yes. and I guess not particularly planned because if anyone knows me and has watched me for a while, you know <laughs> I'm, I'm a planner and I like to right. organize and plan things. So to kind of jump into this and be like, okay, we can see each other. Let's figure it out. What do we have to do? What do we need? Mm -hmm. Um it was all very quick, again stressful, but definitely well worth it because yeah, it's been a long time. And um, for anybody who were, who may be wondering, like, why did you guys meet there? Because we've always wanted to come here. It was yeah. kind of like one of those places that was on our bucket list, mm -hmm. and we figured that since it's been so long since we've seen each other, let's go somewhere that we we want to go to that mm -hmm. doesn't have any particular quarantine because obviously there are right. like quarantine requirements and Paris was a good idea so we decided to come here oh I should also mention as well obviously in order for me to leave Australia I have to be vaccinated we're mm -hmm. both vaccinated so yeah that was pretty straightforward already had all that sorted and then arriving here we got our vaccination records converted to the European Union standards mm -hmm. so that we could be able to go to places because mm -hmm. a lot of the restaurants here won't let you go in unless you have like right. you're vaccinated or you have like a negative COVID test. Um, so yeah, I I feel like traveling during the pandemic, while it is a lot of work, it's definitely like travel is definitely not mm. as simple and straightforward no, as it was before. Not normal anymore. No, before it was like you could just buy your ticket, rock mm -hmm. up at the airport, and head on yeah. your flight. But now they want everything print it out they want to see hard copies of things There's a lot more processing times things take a lot longer and I guess mm -hmm. that's why for me everything was very delayed yeah. and that's why it was stressful for me but um, it was definitely worth it and in our circumstance being that we hadn't seen each other for like two years mm -hmm. it was like you got to do what you got to do so yeah like I said we have already been together for a couple of weeks now we've already done so we've much done so much to yeah be honest. i feel like time is flying but at the same time it's been really good to be able to just have this time for where sure. we're able to like slow down a little bit and relax because every other time that we've seen each other it's like go 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 every day has mm -hmm. like a planned itinerary um but this time around we're able to just chill out for a bit mm -hmm. and enjoy each other's company for sure yeah and just doing the little things like go get some groceries mm -hmm. go for walks right get coffee like the simple things that sometimes you can take for granted in relationships like even be able mm -hmm. to like sit on the couch right, and watch, watch a it. movie exactly. yeah um we get to do all of that this time around so it feels really good I'm very grateful to be here I'm very thankful that i was able to mm -hmm. travel during this time being that things are so uncertain and rapidly changing and there's just a lot of uncertainty who knows like what what goes on from here like what's gonna happen from here mm -hmm. but i'm just very grateful to be able to have the time that we have together right for the time being so yeah absolutely yeah so that's about it i just thought i would kind of give you guys a bit of an update as to what it's like to travel during a pandemic like i said definitely isn't what it was before mm -hmm. there's a lot more that goes into it but it can be done like i was definitely stressed but we did it we're here and yep. yeah definitely well worth it i've seen some people be like why would you even bother like that's just too much effort yeah but no it's been too long <laughs> it's been too long yeah with that being said plenty more videos to come on this channel my channel and on our channel mm -hmm. thank you guys for watching to everybody who's been very supportive thank you so much that really means a lot to me and to both of us mm -hmm. i honestly didn't like expect so much support i don't know i, I have like... I, I know that you got a lot of people that really you know are really supportive of your channel and your journey so i was expecting for them to be there and i'm like so happy to see the response oh yeah it's it's really lovely and i i definitely really appreciate it. it's been a very hard two years for me especially um 
going through like what I've gone through but I feel like this is kind of like the rejuvenation that I need <laughs> mm. and um, yeah I'm, I'm just very thankful to everybody for their support and love and encouragement and uh, yeah that's all I have to say for now so till next time guys I hope everybody is staying safe and is healthy and um, happy new year happy as well new year. yeah the content that I'm gonna upload after this is a little bit backdated because we did get here just before Christmas right. yeah we celebrate our first Christmas yes our first Christmas together our first New Year's together a lot of firsts for this mm -hmm. trip so um, yeah thank you guys for watching we hope you enjoyed. Thank you for joining me on my journey and us on our journey. And until next time, see you in the next video.